I would say that the first thing a legislator should do upon becoming a member of a uh, house, either uh, the state assembly or in parliament, is to begin by reading the rules of procedure and uh, the conduct of uh, the business so that he knows exactly how to present uh, what his demand is to the speaker and um, hopefully get a favorable response. Now, uh, there are two ways a person can shine as a uh, legislator. Uh, one is as a person who raises issues in the House in his individual capacity, for which there are provisions in the rules, or uh, by being an um, office bearer of the pa legislature party or the parliamentary party and speaking on behalf of the government, which is, of course, an easier thing to do. But uh, in terms of becoming a parliamentarian, uh, I think that the individual capacity attempts are uh, much more valuable. So I would like to say beginning that question hour, which I think uh, our speaker, honorable speaker here uh, just mentioned correctly. Uh, question hour is an extremely important uh, hour to begin the, the proceedings of the house begins with that. And you have both oral and written um, um, questions that are answered. Orally, it is answered on the floor and written, of course, comes to you in writing. So in oral, you can have supplementaries and other people can ask questions, so it's a much more important thing, but it's harder to get because it is done by balloting. And everybody f files it, so only a few people uh, are able to come on the list. So this is the first thing that should be emphasized for legislative performance, uh, of being able to file questions and uh, in uh, ideally, hopefully, uh, as many oral questions as possible. Then, of course, there's something called calling attention motion. I, I don't know in, the, in these states whether it's called by some other name, the same name. That's a current issue, and you want the government to respond and, uh, and ask uh, and answer why A, B, C, D situation has happened. If there's a, uh, if there's a uh, issue which is uh, of public interest, uh, automatically the speaker um, then uh, decides to list it and then the minister is asked to answer. And that's a very, very important uh, um, uh, weapon by which uh, a legislator can perform, uh, show his performance. Mm -hmm. Then you have private members' bills. You can, uh, there are, in a week, there's one day when it is solely de devoted in the afternoon to private members' bills. That is, you as a private member, you, you, you frame a bill and put it in and say that I want government to consider it. I have done it myself in the, in the case of the ban of cow slaughter, which, uh, which had a full-fledged... Uh, discussion and the government then finally accepted they would do it but of course they have not done it so far but the fact is that this is a very very powerful tool and that is another thing that needs to be done. There are also private member resolutions where vote is taken of the house. You as an individual you come and put out something and uh, it is discussed if it comes in the ballot and uh, that uh, that also it gives a way of, of building your legislative uh, performance. So, um, um, what I would say is, in short, that we, uh, uh, the parliamentarian, uh, develops in reputation by n not taking necessarily the issues of uh, as the government wants. The government wants to. Sometimes the government would like you to defend the government. That be that also uh, is done. But the thing that attracts the attention of the public is taking a public issue, which the government has not uh, paid attention to, and then get it uh, heard in Parliament, and think that's the most important thing that needs to be done. I would uh, conclude by saying that the one thing we do lack is what uh, the United States uh, has shown, 
uh, can be done. And we have a representative here from the United States. Um, and that is, I knew a senator in the United States, in the uh, National uh, Senate, and he used to be provided with 65 uh, research assist associates and, of, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, stenographers and so on and so forth. I mean, the amount of work he could do and the research he could do was able because the, the, of the numbers. And I'm mentioning uh, uh, Senator Monihan, who was used to be ambassador here, whom I knew uh, because he and I taught in the same university. Uh, and, uh, and I went to see him and I was surprised the huge office uh, as senators provided and the number of uh, staff members who help him on all the research. That is something that now must be uh, um, done. But I would say uh, we also must encourage political parties to put a good proportion of people only on the grounds that they're educated. Of course, you have a doctor was a speaker here and a doctor here. But generally speaking, we find in the elections, uh, the people uh, are often elected on the basis of caste and so on, and the selection of candidates is that. That has a certain proportion has to be there. But at the same time, I think there should be a growing demand that legislatures should now become people who are very educated and who have specialization uh, knowledges. So this is the way I think a person can show his legislative performance and, uh, and live up to the expectations of the people of the country who look up to the, uh, both the Assembly and Parliament. Thank you very much.